Here we have Ray Olta, not Aorta, but Olta, not Ortiz, but Olta. <laughs> yes, that's me. Right. What did you want to know about me? I want to know everything. I want to know what you're doing later. I want to know where you're going tomorrow. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, I'll tell you like it is. I was raised in this neighborhood in 1686 Seward Avenue. I went to 107, PS 123, and James Monroe High School. I learned my singing, the foundation of my singing, do singing doo-wop right here in Soundview. In 1975, I, I signed with Scepter Records. I recorded three albums. I traveled around the country, and one of the guys had died. And I went backwards and I started singing with doo-wop. I sang with the Drifters, the Orioles, the Jesters, the Chords. Uh, we have a celebrity here. And I sang, I traveled all over and I did a lot of things. And, this, and I wanted to sing in Soundview all my life. Now I'm finally going to sing here. Next Today? Sunday. Oh, next Sunday. Next we can't get a little sample? Yeah, well, see, it's next Sunday they're going to advertise. Uh, show it? Yeah. All That's right, let's here. see. It says Soundview Park Summer Festival, August 11th, Sunday. Oh, very nice. Yeah. 10 to 7. So I've been traveling around the country. I went overseas. I did a couple of things. I, like I said, after I recorded the, the three albums, and the name of the group was then was signed for Scepter was Eon, E O N, and uh, we were there with B T Express, Neon Warwick, uh, Queen, uh, quite a few groups. So we yeah, I like to sing too. We have a lot in common. My family's full of performers. I mean, my uncle Rafi, we do karaoke a lot though. I do that too. To keep in shape, keep my voice in shape. I do that a lot. Yeah. I know, we actually have an amplifier in my kitchen right now. <laughs> I'm true. not lying. And I come here, I try to come here, you know, at least once a year. I haven't been here three years, and it's good to see the people. Some of them have passed already. I just came from a funeral with one of the people from Sambia had died. And, uh, and I always come to find out all the information. Yeah, they had a moment of silence, silence at 3 o'clock for those that passed on, you know, from the neighborhood that are still remembered. and. You know, good memories there. So let me ask you this. Do you live in the area? You're just visiting? I mean, you travel a lot? So you I travel a lot, but I live in uh, I live on Pelham Parkway, Boston Road. Oh, okay. The Bronx. Oh, okay. So the Bronx is still very heavily embedded in you? Absolutely. The Bronx is my home ground. I was born in Manhattan in 97th Street. And then my parents moved here. Then I love the Bronx. So you still have a lot of family here? Yes, a lot of family here, Puerto Rico, Florida, Vegas, California. Oh, you spread out though. Yeah. Any last words you want to tell everybody? I just want to say that uh, I love Soundview. Uh, the people here have been great. The, kid, the people that grew up in this area, they really became more family than anything else through the years. And they were good people. It's not like the people that you have now, more respectful then. You know, it, it's... It was, it was a closer generation. Very close generation, you know. And we're, I'm booked more now than I did when I was a young age because the baby boomers have retired and all they want to hear is doo-wop. So I, I like doo-wop. That, that's very popular in my house too. And I sing a lot of doo-wop. That's what I do now to keep myself going. So do you have a website or anything if anyone wanted to follow you and know where you're performing? Yeah, you could. Or buy some of your music? Are you on iTunes? I'm in iTunes. You could look up... Uh, Eon, and uh, Eon E O N, at at uh, at the website, you know. On an Apple website, yeah. iTunes, on YouTube, you have some videos out yeah. there. Well, I did a show. It's on YouTube. I did it with Tony Dancy show, and uh, and Channel Thirteen, the the doo wop thing on Channel Thirteen. I did that with the sh uh, with the John Mel's, and that was recently on Channel Thirteen. I did that. Okay, here I am with. Fareed Ansari. My original name was Steve Carson, but I changed my name to Fareed in uh, 1977. What does that mean? Fareed means unique, actually, and Ansari are two Arabic words. Uh, Ansari means helper. Wow, I like it. Very nice. So what year did you move to Soundview? I moved to Soundview in 1959 with my parents. I'm to be on my tippy toes. He's a big guy here. I was wearing higher shoes yesterday. <laughs> in 1959, we moved here. My parents moved here from an uh, uh, area in the Bronx. And then we came here to Soundview. So we've been... And you lived here. Are you still in the area? No, now I'm living... I've been living in Rhode Island for 20 years. Oh, 
Oh, home of Johnson and Wales. Yeah, yeah. Or do you know about Johnson and Wales? Oh, I do. I cook. <laughs> okay. You have to try my shrimp ceviche. Ask them over there with the grilled pineapple. Okay, all right. I will. Okay. So you know, That's a reward for the interview. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so I, I moved to Rhode Island uh, in 1988, the winter of 1988, and I've been there ever since. I retired from the Office of Court Administration here in the state of Rhode Island, I mean, state of New York, mm -hmm. and migrated to, to, to Rhode Island. So how do you like Rhode Island compared to Soundview? Oh, I love it. I love it. My, my wife is actually from Rhode Island. She's a native Rhode Islander, and uh, since that point in time, um, you know, I just I decided not to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little more laid back in Rhode Island. Yeah, it is. Uh, there's a whole different lifestyle in Rhode Island. I, you know, coming from this area actually was absolutely fabulous. It's still fabulous with the you know with the park here, living in the project over here as a as a as a kid, basically growing up here. I really love this area, but um, the city, it's really away from the city. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean. As we grow, we change, right? Sometimes we want a little more quiet. We want to be a little more laid back, yeah. you know? Well, Rhode Island is a different lifestyle, and I, I did want to get away from the city. It was so crowded. I mean, Rhode Island is the smallest state in the United States. I don't think in the whole state they have uh, a million or more, about a, a million and a half people, if, if that, in the whole state. And if you want to study culinary, Rhode Island is a place to go. Johnson and Wales, I'm exactly. definitely a fan. We'll put in a plug for Johnson and Wales, I'm sure. Maybe they'll give me a discount on tuition. Yeah, right, exactly. Maybe we'll get some kind of royalties. But it's an excellent uh, culinary school. And if there's any uh, culinary school. And then they have RISD, mm -hmm. which is a very uh, famous um, uh, arts uh, college. Mm -hmm. You know, it's You're close common. to Boston. I mean, it's definitely in the Mecca area for universities, you know. Right. Well, it's sandwiched in between Massachusetts and Connecticut, which you probably know. But if you're traveling, don't fall asleep because if you fall asleep, you'll miss it. <laughs> I know. Trust me, I, I made a lot of trips to and from Johnson and Wales. My, my son was studying there for some time. Oh, was he? Really? Was he studying the culinary art? Yes, yes. It's in our blood. You'll see when you taste my ceviche. Hey, hey, show me, show me where it's at. I'm, re I'm ready. <laughs> so, any any other thoughts you want to share with us? You know, growing up here, it seems that you know that whole concept of a family, and it takes a village to raise a child. And everybody said, family, family, family. We just love the family-oriented vibe here. Well, this is the manifestation of, of that because that that love that we had for each other as we were growing up is still being carried on. Every year we're coming together, and it's just you know this is a manifestation. Are you still a Yankees fan? Well, I can't help that. <laughs> it's in my blood. And what I love here is that I love the flavorful, colorful diversity. Yeah, and that's what it was all about because you, as you can see, we all grew up together and we got you know we got along. We were sort of allies growing up, and this this area wasn't exactly the you know there was a lot of racial things going on when. When the minorities started to move in this area, there was a lot. And that of was around what time? In the fifth, it, well, the, the early 60s. Mm -hmm. And that whole area, the Class and Point area, was predominantly white area. And when the minorities started moving in, into, the, into this area, there was a certain areas that we couldn't even go to. You couldn't even walk. There was some yeah. resistance there. Yeah, I recall. That's all right. Well, there was a beach, beach club back there. Um, called Shorehaven, I think it was, where there were no minorities. There were, you, in the, in order so it's like you were starting to step on some toes by moving in the area, and the area was still a developing area. Yes, it was. It was very, this undeveloped, actually, it's been developed now since that point in time. But as far as when when there was sort of like a... Uh, when they a wave of people, people yeah, that... Exactly, a, a wave. But it was mixed. Mm -hmm. There was, you know... There were Jewish people here. Yeah, and that's what was, I think that was what was good about it because yeah. it helps you to to learn about each other. Yeah, I mean, exactly. if you're so exclude, secluded from everyone, right? right? Exactly. And it, and it was good. So it was very integrated, the different cultures, different people. We went to the, you know, the school together. We, you know, we knew everybody's parents, yeah. you know, knew each other. And they knew your parents, so if you were naughty. Oh, yeah, and that's a... That was the that was the beautiful thing about it, because if you did something wrong, your parents would know about it because everybody knew each other. You would soon be corrected. Yeah, exactly. Welcome back, and here I am with Gerald. 
How's everybody? Oh, Joan takes over the mic. Oh, yeah. She, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> she going to ask me some questions. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, introduce yourself. Gerald. Yeah. What? Gerald, Gerald Hollingsworth. Um, I'm one of the original persons that started the Sound Weaver Union. Mm -hmm. And it's gotten to a point now that what we have, when people coming around every year, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. To see people that you haven't seen in years, it's just lovely. You know, I wish other people from Sound View, if you haven't been here, you, you gotta, gotta make, come. you gotta come. You'll love it, you know. And it looks like you guys are like spending the night with these tents. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> well, you know what, it rained a little bit this morning, but a couple of people were calling me and said, Gerald, they still gonna have it? No, they did the I, Indian yeah, thing. Yeah, I said, look, come out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. After a while, it's gonna go away. And look how beautiful it came out, right? It's beautiful the out here today. The weather's comfortable. The weather's comfortable. Everybody's having a good time. It's intimate, beautiful thing, you know? So let me ask you a thing. I'm gonna take the back back. Yeah, yeah. Gerald, so do you still live in the area. I know that. I the area. Yeah, I still, I still live in the area. Not, hold it oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald's a mic. He, he wants to handle this mic here. Yeah, I'm still in the area. Um, went to the service for a minute, came back, stayed in, with my mother in sound me for a minute. Then I bought a house not too far from here, but I'm still in the community. And I love it, you know. And he's on the committee, and, on the committee. and you guys work all year long. All I mean, you long. meet every month? Well, what we, gonna, what we do, uh, usually three months before, four months before, uh, this event, but what we're going to start doing next year is to meet starting in September so we can get everything in place for next year. We have a whole lot of things we want to do with the children, the track field they're getting ready to, to open up next year. We're going to have little track meets for the kids. We're going to have things where the uh, adults, we have a little Zoom. We have a field day, right? Yeah, yeah. we're going to have a field day for them. And, and it's a community thing, and this is what we need. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I'm going to come. Yeah, I'll be better. <laughs> you better, you know. So, you know. Oh, this is. Oh, you heard it here. And another thing I had recommended to um, Billy, right? Mm. Is Billy? Billy, yeah. Okay. Billy, Bobby, Bobby Hill. Bobby, Bobby Hill. Bobby, yeah. Bobby, I got Bobby, so many names yeah. to remember. <laughs> anyway, Bobby Hill was that you guys should have a, a social media page. That way folks can share information. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. But I think yeah, so go on. I think there is. I know that Lisa Marie had the had the event, Soundview Day yeah. and the bridges, you know? Well, you know, I think there's, uh, I think it's set Rushley, uh, Russell uh, Slim, Fleming, right? Rusty Fleming. Yeah, he has a, a Rusty Fleming, Soundview Stand Up. Stand -up. Stand -up. But I think we need to expand on that. I think for the reunion. For the reunion, just yeah. where it's not where they can just. Um, Try to find people, but just have information yeah. about the reunion. I mean, if people have one that's just for Soundview reunion, yeah, they'll that's, be able to connect that's, that's from that as a starting point. That's what we're going to have. Just mm -hmm. one, just for the reunion, get information, what we're going to do, what we're planning. I think that would be a good thing, you know. Exactly, and it will help you guys that's out right. with right. coordinating it. That's right. You know, Let's and, work. And another thing today, to have the um, people that's in the political field to come out and um, yeah, you could give them recognition yeah, too, you know, that way you know who's time. backing it. Right, it was a good thing. That's important. That's very important. I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have this stage out here today, one of for uh, Councilwoman Palmer and Senator Klein. And they about helped Palmer us. and who else? And, uh, and uh, Senator Klein. Senator yeah. Klein. Yeah. Jack Klein? Yeah, Jack Klein. Okay. That helped us out a lot. I really appreciate what he did. So you heard it here. Yeah. Thank you to our Councilman and Woman. That's right. Thank you, Councilwoman and Senator. Appreciate everything you've done for us today. All right? All right. Thanks a lot. All right. All right.